This is Afrocentric Radio with me, your host, Minister Faust, on E-Town's CJSR FM 88, CJSR.com, and MinisterFaust.com worldwide. For years, I've been asking remarkable people about the most remarkable global African authors and global African books they've ever read. Here are their favorites. Well, that's my boy. He's way back. I mean, I remember back in Ishmael and them came to, and all those West Coast writers came to New York when I was in I was in college, and they had an anthology called Yardbird Reader. You know, a lot of the great and voices that you know were just they were distinguished for various reasons over over the years, but. You know, it was a place where a lot of great black writers could come together back in the 70s. Ishmael popped out into the mainstream with his book, Mumbo Jumbo. What we're looking at right now is, is that, that book, Mumbo Jumbo. That popped out in the 70s, and we're just we're seeing how it's played out now, even more so than 1984 ever would have been played out as well. Now, he's a prophetic voice, but he, I definitely think he, has a, he had a heyday. His commentary was sharpest in the 70s and 80s. You know, I've heard of the the uh, social commentator recently and you know things the, the voice isn't as sharp to me but he's a you know he, he's a great mind except for somebody you know like Quincy Truth and these are guys, these are writers who we should be aware of and what they what I loved about them is that they had a really strong sense of the poetic nature that allowed them to use metaphor in such powerful ways which is something that's very delicate and also capture I mean they wrote like black preachers preach you know through example through metaphor and that's kind of what we need again. When we look at hip hop, we hear we hear social reporting, but only amongst some of the real special voices do we get sort of that prophetic voice. And there's a handful of folks who step up to it. But I don't see, you know, I mean, you have Saul Williams and people like that who have a very strong sense of the poetic and really and really get it and lay out these visions. And I think we, there's a place for that always in keeping our imaginations ready to be worked and used, whereas the the that when the imagination has come off, that's when progress begins to, to shut down, and we're really at the stage of, of imagination being cut off and replaced with commentary on social ill. The poetic would inspire one from inside. If, if we families were reading books again and talking about things in, in the home, that the home has been so destroyed that, that we don't get that kind of inner nurturing in our families the same way. We're witnessing the shift and the change. 